Hello, I'm Dr. Sanjay Panikar. I'm the founder director of Amrita Homeopathy. We are placed in two locations in Bangalore, at Koromangla and at Marathali. We specialize in hair and skin problems, respiratory problems, allergies, pediatrics, infertility, and liver diseases. As far as hair loss is concerned, there are about 40 different types of hair loss. And in certain types of hair loss, regrowth is possible. And in certain other types of hair loss, regrowth is not possible. So for this, we have to first understand what is the diagnosis of the type of hair loss that the patient has. We do a microscopic check here and then we come to the conclusion on what type of hair loss it is. And then we decide on the line of treatment and we commit whether the hair growth is possible or hair growth is not possible. For example, in alopecia areata, we can definitely assure that all the patients will have a regrowth with medicine or sometimes even without medicine. Many cases in three or four months itself, the hair regrows in alopecia areata. But it may not happen in all the cases and that is when medical intervention is required. In alopecia universalis, very often homeopathic treatment will be needed. Remedies like tuberculinum, cephalinum are used in this condition and even phosphorus. Alopecia areata is again successfully dealt with fluoric acid, phosphorus, mesarium and um, even we have remedies like um, lycopodium and silicia which is used in the treatment of patchy hair loss. Alopecia areata is a type of a patchy hair loss. Alopecia universalis is the type of hair loss which affects the entire scalp where the immune system is doing damage to the complete hair follicles. So the autoimmune process has to be corrected by deep acting medicines. We have a detailed case analysis done for these patients and based on that we assess what remedies to be given. In androgenic alopecia, which is the most common type of hair loss, we call it as a male pattern of baldness in men when it happens and we call it as female pattern of baldness when it happens in women. And in this type of hair loss, we have to go for a constitutional approach. Because a certain amount of change is possible, we can arrest and slow down this process, we can improve it to some extent. With homeopathic treatment, we can get a 5-10% to 10 improvement or in certain cases it just stabilizes the condition. In certain cases, there may be a 5-10% or 10 reduction also despite the hair loss. But in all the cases, the stability which you achieve where you regrow whatever you are losing, once that capacity is come back, then these patients also retain that hair for several years after the treatment. The patients that I have treated in 2002-2003 are still able to kind of maintain their hair even after 20 years or 15 years. So this kind of ability to sustain the hair on top of the scalp in androgenic alopecia for a long period is what the homeopathic medicine gives you. For that, a constitutional approach of treatment where we understand the entire personality, what all health problems are there in the background, what health problems run in the family, what emotions are involved in this type of hair loss. Like for example, I had a patient who was insulted very badly in her office, subsequent to which she developed a hair loss issue. And there is a remedy called Stephysagra which is used in this condition. Likewise, we need to know what is the emotional state of the person, what is there in the background and why this hair loss has come up. And based on that, it is treated, then it is very effective. Now, post-COVID, a lot of people are losing hair. In such patients, we have used remedies like phosphorus, carbovage, phyphos. We have also used remedies like thallium and um, lycopodium and natremure. All these remedies, which one to give, is best decided by a homeopathic doctor. So if you have any such issues, consult the homeopathic doctor. Don't blindly take for yourself and that will not help you. Remedies like Jabarandi and Wiesbaden are also very useful in the treatment of hair loss.